Here's a raw and hard-hitting report on a radical tech enthusiast who's using the net to share designs for 3D printed guns. Which which parts are plastic, 3D printed, and which parts are metal? Printed, 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 printed. That's basically what you see from this side. So about 80% of it is 3D printed. You could say that, yeah. yeah. About 80%, yeah. So, firstly, explain to us why you're doing this. Why are you 3D printing untraceable firearms? I'm of the opinion that to wear firearms is a human right. And then a different reason why I am risking everything to be able to own and bear firearms is because I am extremely enthusiastic about them. They are a hobby of mine. That would yes. kill someone. That could kill a lot of people. Like this. Peppered with casings. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> just like that. You could look at that and worry and go, yeah, there could be violence. Yeah, it could be terrorists could get hold of them. Yeah, all of these things. But another thing was, they did look like they were having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like, ah, oh, you got me with cases. Like, it didn't look like a doodle. <laughs> I'm glad that sunglasses and balaclava as a look are coming back, <laughs> despite what everyone's been saying on the school run. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that he sounded like Mr. Blobby. <laughs> it is creepy and it is scary, but I don't actually think it's going to be a problem because, like, people aren't going to be 3D printing guns. My printer hasn't worked since 1998. You get, like, halfway through printing a handle and then your printer will run out of cyan ink. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Well, that's the end of the show. Thanks to